Well, hey everybody, this is Ashley. Thanks so much for stopping by again today. I'm thrilled to be joining this video hop to celebrate my good friend Ardith reaching 3000 subscribers on YouTube. Not too long ago, I was part of a video hop celebrating Ardith hitting 1000 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm just so happy to see her growing and reaching a larger audience. She's super creative and inspires me every day. So I'm just so thrilled to be a part of this video hop for her. As you can see on the screen, we've got lots of sponsors that are donating lots of prizes generously to this hop. So be sure to leave a comment before you head on over to the next video and you can find the next video link in the description. If you've missed any of the information or you've lost your way along the hop, visit Artist's blog, which is also linked in the description and you can get all of the information there. Let's go ahead and get started with the background that I'm going to be making today. For my card, or my actual card, I'm going to be using this stamp from Simon Says Stamp, and it is the Center Cut Heart Background Stamp. It's pretty cool and individual that the center of this um, actually comes out as a second stamp, or you can have it all together. But the focus of my video today is going to be with these Nouveau Shimmer Powders. What I really like to do when I have some time is to just make lots of these panels with shimmer powders or different mediums so that I can keep them in my stash for when I need a card or a personalized card and I want to be able to make it but I don't have enough time to really sit down and create um, an entire card from front to back so or start to finish. So I like to make these uh, card panels or these backgrounds and just keep them in my stash like I said for whatever I may need. So what I'm going to do is spray or first tape down a piece of watercolor cardstock and then I'm going to spray it with uh, my distress sprayer and I'm just going to saturate the entire cardstock and make sure that I use my paintbrush just to evenly distribute any of that water. I'm going to then just basically pour some of this uh, shimmer powder anywhere on the cardstock because I'm going to be putting more water on top and letting it move around. I'm saturating this completely and probably putting a little bit too much water, uh, but that's how I like my watercolors and these shimmer powders to move around. I like for there to be almost too much water and I do um, end up sopping up quite a bit at the end with a rag, but I, this is just my preferred method. You can see that I'm using an air puffer here that I usually use for alcohol inks, um, but then I realized, you know, I really just need to pick this up and move it around. Now, had I thought about this for even a second, I would have put this on a piece of cardboard um, just to be easier to move around and to not make you so dizzy, so I do apologize for that, but I end up just picking up my glass mat and moving it around, and that's what you see happening here. So I'm letting my watercolors or these shimmer powders, I keep saying watercolor because it's very uh, reactive like watercolor, um, but I just keep moving it around so that it gets lots of movement throughout the cardstock. I wanna make sure that I go from uh, corner to corner and on all the edges, I wanna make sure that the shimmer powder, which has now turned into a bit of a watercolor, is just completely uh, saturating the entire cardstock. So I'm just going to take this rag now and sop up some of that extra water because I don't want warping. Um, but I do have a little trick in just a minute to show you in case you do get warping. I'm keeping this all in real time because I want to show you that it really is under five minutes to make the background. Um, this is of course just one background, but like I said, when I have some time, sometimes I just like to make a whole bunch of these. One, they're fun, and two, it's just nice to have in your stash. So I'm now taking a heat gun and drying or just accelerating the drying of my uh, card panel here. And this is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's cut to an A2 size card. I'm going to be trimming it down because as you can see, I taped it down. So obviously there's going to be a little bit of a margin on the outside, but I really love that look as well with the white margin or border around it. Um, but I don't leave it for um, this particular card that I end up making today. But when I save them, I do leave the border just in case I end up wanting to use that in the long run. So again, I'm not going to speed this up because I want to show you that it really is under five minutes. Um, remember, if you're looking at the timer on your 
uh, phone or your computer or in the video what you're looking at. I didn't start this at zero. I had to run down the uh, specifics of the video hop. So if you start the timer from when I started until right now when it's ending, it is under five minutes. So um, it really is a, a beautiful and quick way to create a really eye-catching card. So this is the end result you get. I'll show you the shimmer here in just a minute because it almost doesn't do it enough justice uh, to see it on camera. In person, it's really just so shimmery. It almost looks wet still on camera, but it's not wet. That's the shimmer, which is really special and I think makes these specifically these Nouveau shimmer powders um, really individual. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get into the card that I made. I don't go through very many specifics of it just because I wanted the uh, video to really focus around using the actual panel. So what I'm going to do is after I trimmed this down, I am putting some removable adhesive on the back side and I'm just going to adhere that inside my Misty. Now I don't have to worry about this removable adhesive. I'm able just to rub it off when I'm done, but I'm going to center this, uh, background stamp right over the uh, card panel that I have and it's easy to sort of find the center because you do have that center cut out. Now I'm not going to use the center heart but you could add it in now if you wanted to um, but I also had to go ahead and take out that foam pad underneath because this is a cling stamp so it's a bit thicker and I don't need the foam pad. I went ahead and put some powder using a powder tool. I put way too much because I always do because I really don't like stray uh, embossing powder, but you don't have to open it and pour the powder on. Also, I'm sure that you're thinking, well, now it's all dulled down and it's not going to be as shimmery. And that's true, but I'll show you a way in just a minute that we can bring it right back to life. It's just as vibrant and just as shimmery. I used Versamark ink to stamp this onto my card front and then I'm using just a very fine white embossing powder to really contrast against this background. I think all of this color and the dark purple in there will really make the white stand out, especially with these fine lines and the details. I just really love the way it looks. And you can see here I'm using the dry clean end of this rag just to wipe off all of that powder. You want to make sure that your embossing powder is completely dry before you do this or you'll end up with a big mess. Um, but you can see it just takes it off wonderfully. It doesn't take off any of that shimmer, uh, but it does take off the dulling that the um, powder did to the piece itself. So this is the finished card. I used Pink Fresh Studios Make a Wish stamp and die set and a little bit of their washi tape as well. And I created this focal image of a birthday cake for my daughter's friend's birthday coming up. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about how I create some of these really fun, vibrant backgrounds. Again, please go into the description for the video to, or for the link to the next video. All of the supplies are linked in the description and I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.